Hi friends, this video is continuation to my cloud security web series. So I have covered my last video until Azure security building blocks. I'm going to continue with the Azure web application firewall. As I mentioned, if you want to protect your HTTP level traffic, it could be your web application or application gateways or API gateways, or you're exposing some of your web services. So all those things, at the HTTP level, you will be able to protect with the WAF. Uh, example, if you take OWASP guidelines, uh, you have to write each rule if, if to detect or protect. So without writing all those type of rules, Azure provides Azure Web Application Firewall, which you can enable at your application gateway level or friend door or CDN. CDN is still under the a preview CDN is not under the preview CDN web application firewall is under the preview so just to have a look on that so before any traffic goes to your website or your web services first it goes to the web application firewall and there it filters monitors and blocks the HTTP traffic based on the rules you have written so for example the SQL injections or cross-site scripting or maybe some kind of rate limitations uh, like you know trying repetitively from one particular IP or you want to block from the for the from the particular geos or IPs or IPv4s all these things will be uh, protected or detected at the WAF level itself that means the application uh, is all uh, sorry the traffic is already scanned before it goes to the application let us uh, have a look how it looks so once we enable the web application firewall, you can continuously check what kind of uh, uh, events are occurred on the application firewall and what kind of uh, detections happen. If there is any potential threat, all you can see there and you can block that particular IP. So there are two different modes, prevention and detection. Prevention is like it doesn't even allow that particular request. Detection just uh, detects, but it allows the particular traffic. So coming to the use cases, uh, you have plenty of use cases for this. Um, like you can also write custom rules on the web application firewall. So coming to the use cases to protect your websites and applications, uh, to comply with security and regulatory standards, detect intrusions in real time. So your security scanning or security testing happens before that goes to the live or maybe once in a month or uh, once in, uh, uh, in a quarter. But uh, here the regular live traffic monitoring or traffic detection has to happen uh, by using web application firewall you can do that control bots so there are uh, different type of bots which can really attack and steal your data or information so even microsoft uh, azure web application firewall provides the bot protection the predefined bots are there you don't need to write any programming you just need to enable that particular one so enforce content policy if you have any content policies that also can be enabled so coming to the uh, various sections of the web application firewall as i mentioned uh, it can be enabled at the cdn as i mentioned it is uh, under the preview and uh, just to want to if you want to understand the various differences uh, of cdn versus friend door versus application gateway wafs you can go to my other video i have uh, done the deep dive uh, video series here you can see web application firewall part one part two part three this covers complete web application firewall including the creation of, of the web application firewall on the uh, so, so that's the reason i'm just trying to uh, skip it, skip this topics here but you can go through my other videos where i explain completely about the waf with the assumption that you will go through my other videos on the waf i will continue with azure security center in my next video thanks for watching my videos